fun to drive. Yo, welcome back to the BST4 channel. Wink Guns, what's going on? What's happening, man? So much has been going on with this car here, man. We started to chop and cut. You can see that part right over there. I'm trying to take this cage out, man. So what I've been doing now is been cutting holes in the floor. Now, the reason for that is nephew ran out of acetylene torch juice, man. Right there. See, it just ran out. So what we're doing is making holes so we can just cut the boxes out and, um, and we'll be legit. Everything is pretty much ready to go. It's just that part there on the ground that needs to be cut out. And as soon as this thing gets cut out, man, we can just get this car ready to roll and get it out of here. Crazy. All right, we got rid of the body, right? We cut this out, obviously. Now, the cage that we took out is right here. Now, right there is the bad part of the whole cage. So, we gotta chop there, there, and make another one just like that side to put over on that side. That's what my nephew's gotta do. Along with that, we got the axle, we got some parts, you know, stuff we need and then I went up and picked up the wrong rear this is a 7.5 I need an 8.8 .8, but we don't care we got calipers and rotors that we can use and also the lower arms are pretty good too so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that little blanket right there not really blanket but it's a rug and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use this for So the car is home. Now we're trying to get the thing off this. This is a hard thing. And we're just going to have that stationary. Move this. Use that truck there. Pull it out. And basically that should work. So we're back at the junkyard and guess what we got a v8 mustang they just took the engine out of this thing guy came and pick up the three valve in it now in the back of this we got a brand new rear caliper got pretty decent rotors on it both sides let's check the other side see what we got oh just went in the water yep 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 got new joints on this side too man so right there's a few things i need i needed the um ecu out of here which is here got that out and I got this needed that both of those things are not in the other car because this car has nothing in it see no fuse panel no ECU mainly I probably have to take out the pat system and I have to change it into a manual now on another note I may need to take out the steering wheel due to the fact that it has a key so we need to get that out of there and we need a steering wheel anyway so it would be the best bet to take the whole column this is a good find today. That's why I keep going to the junkyard all the time. So what we're gonna do is get these, put this to the side, and then we're gonna come back, and then we're gonna go back and kind of look around and see what we got around here. Man, we ain't looking for no cars or nothing, man. I went and got busy. So we teleported and brought the parts home. We needed this, man. Got the key, we got that, and we got that. Now, we're gonna take these gloves off and we're gonna start working on our budget race car bill first order of business is check over the car clean it out because it's dirty it's been sitting for it's a lot of years there's a whole bunch of stuff in it i mean there's trees and stuff inside of this car here and it's a lot of leaves inside also so the car has been sitting for a good minute so anyway what we're going to do right first thing just clean it out get the window out and get the rear window out and just kind of start from there mustang guys are really not going to dig this kind of build here because they want it to be looking back to spec i'm not doing all of that i'm just trying to drive bro that's it so what we're going to do is just window got to get that out so let me take out the cow and get busy so all right man we got the window out and all along with that man we started to uh vacuum and clean up in here still a little dirty in there oh man so we're using this blade cutting and cleaning up around in this area and we got the inside kind of stripped out a little bit it looks a lot better right it's done it's looking good now we got to mimic that side kind of on this side here it's totally different but you know that's why i said i gotta get that window out. window has to come out it's just what it is let's see kind of hard
And you can see it widen up real big. Well, it seems like I did nothing, man, but there's a problem. Let me show you. That, you see, it's all, all the way up. Now, the problem that I'm having is with the other side. Let me show you. The window is folded into this crease right here. So I still have to, well, in theory, bend this up. This should kind of fold out. That side over there should close down a little bit and then I could be able to um, continue to cut and hopefully I can lift the glass out. All right, so what's happening now is, is that I'm jacking that up right here and then on the other side, the window is starting to close. Like, you know, I can close this thing. So, yo, let's switch gears for a little bit. We're not gonna be talking about this, but what we're gonna be talking about is this engine right here. If you checked out the community tab and you've seen a video where my son and nephew we went to the junkyard to pick this engine up, as you can see, something happened. So, this is what happened. This thing right here, man, look at it, boom. You know what I think? Hydro locked, got to, because you can see the bend there. So it's probably filled up with gas or something and ignited, bing! But the cylinder wall, it's all good. It's not bad, it's not scarred up or nothing like that. Can't really see it, I know, but you get the gist of it, man. It's still doable, still workable. Heads over here, cathedral style, and that's crazy. So let's get back to this car right here. Curvature in the windows getting there. It's looking nice, man. The whole thing has closed up. Boom. I can actually use this window if I wanted to. So what we've been doing is we're going to leave this jack in there for a couple of days and just leave it like that. Every once in a while, give it a couple of pumps and work it on out. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this like that. The other side of the door closed a little bit better, which is good. Yo, everything is kind of taking shape body wise. I don't want to be worrying about the body. I ain't trying to do all of that, even though I cut that quarter panel off over there, but who cares? I'm just going to work around it, make it look halfway decent right there and keep it moving. So it's the next day, man, and we came back to the junkyard. You know what we had to pick up, that rear. So we got it. It's already loaded in the truck and it's a pretty daggone good one, man. Surprisingly, I got that thing out of there, kind of dragged it over there. Harbor Freight again, had to use that one man band and just scoop that thing underneath there. Now it's going to stay there because that's where it's going to go. Now we just have to wait for the rain to stop and we'll plan this whole thing out some kind of way. All right, this is like three days later, bro. And the rain looks like it's about to come down yet again, man, before we get some sunshine. I had thought about it. I had a plan with the rear putting it in, but I stopped. Here's what we're doing. We're going to take this rear apart check all the goodies in it because we don't want to put it inside the car and do it underneath like that like we've been doing with the crown vix and stuff we're going to do the rear get everything situated with the rear and then we roll to the front and get all of this situated some of this stuff going to get thrown away and everything like that we just want the car to roll and that's it up down up down there now the plan was is they yank the wiring out of this remember i told you about this before we didn't do it yet because we have this three valve harness that we're going to try to Get it on top of this four valve. It may change, don't hold me to this. So now, we're definitely gonna need another situation here. Depending if we're running the two valve, we can use this situation here. If we're running a three valve harness, we're gonna need the three valve throttle body. I think it's basically the same size as that. If not, we'll make it fit. We do have a transmission. We do have some stuff, so we're working on it. Then we can work it out and get all this stuff here. And look, it's got dark by the minute. It's getting cold. There's no way that I can sit here and do this stuff outside with this kind of weather. And then what we can do also too is we may start getting rid of this thing here. All right. Cause we're gonna get we're gonna take the top of that roof off, take some inside pieces maybe, definitely taking that window, and we're just gonna leave it just like that. Because as you can see, it's starting to take a little bit of shape right here. But right here is still a little bad. So I don't know yet. I may cut right here and right there and just replace a piece of it along with the you know i may do that i don't know yet so we'll see how that's gonna go so man thank you guys for watching this episode of bill sutton tv man hope you guys were enlightened yo on the next video we're gonna be doing some crown vic stuff moving forward brothers moving forward man i just want to thank all the guys right here and all the channels and all the guys right here i got your names right there thank all of you guys out there man each one of you thank you so much for just bearing with me with the channel and for you new guys who are checking out this, 
thank you so much for even considering watching the video man and it's cold and i know it's about to rain again so let me get up out of here and we'll get to the next video all right later